Georgian Bay, and the ultimate proving grounds. How bad do you want it? When we say enough is enough, what are you willing to endure to succeed? For us, the answer is simple. Whatever it takes. Strap in and enjoy the ride on our hunt for the Giants of Georgian Bay. Here's the thing about success. If you want to achieve what nobody else can, you have to be willing to do what nobody else will. With the wounds of a two-day skunk still fresh in our minds and the season dwindling down, we're doing whatever is necessary to put a giant muskie in the boat. With a snow squall warning and high winds expected, we had to change our plans the night before this trip from Georgian Bay to a section of the French River we thought would be protected enough to fish. Hitting the road, we were quickly met with whiteout conditions and the echoes of those who told us to pack it in for the season. Checking the radar, we decided to turn around and head for a smaller inland lake to try and salvage the day. After having to try two different launches, we finally make it on the water and the hunt is on. After trolling through a few areas, we start to see some big marks on the side image. We notice the marks are sitting high in the water column and that our baits are running below them. We swap out baits and bring in some line to make sure that our baits are staying above the fish that we're seeing. In the late fall, bait is the key. If you're not around the bait, you aren't around the fish. Fishing a number of areas around the lake, trying to find where the bait is hanging out, we decided to concentrate our efforts for the upcoming bite window and remainder of the afternoon in a small area where bait and musky marks were spotted. Here's going to the trainer. You gotta fish that yeah. okay. Yep. Take it, take it. No, it's good. Got it. on it. I got the net, get it, get it. Here, try to bring it to the side if you Yeah! Yeah, we got one! Yes! There we go! Yes, nice! Yes. We got one! Alright! It's a little guy, but we'll take her. It's not that little, man. <laughs> Season salvage! Dude, it didn't even fucking go. It didn't, no, it didn't even pull drag. 40 inches? Uh, I got you a 30, 37, 38. Uh, oh, 38. Good fucking guess. Alright, you want a release shot? Yeah, I might go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's Yeah, it didn't even pull drag at all. Yeah, it must have just fucking fuck hit that water's cold. <laughs> Get the fucking heater on here for you, but yeah. I thought it would have been funny. Colin, how's it feel to catch a muskie? Uh, long overdue. It feels good. So, Not gonna lie. After the day you had, do you think it's good. worthwhile? Hey, you know what? It is worthwhile, 100%. You know, the opponents are good. We're getting our pots deep, and uh, they're a good team. Came in wrestling. Yeah. Getting, getting baits in their face, and uh, yeah, we'll hopefully. The 
Exciting to fish this late in the season shouldn't be one made with haste. The cold temperatures, lack of others around, and potential to end up in life-threatening situations is high. Being prepared with your clothing, gear on board, boat organization, and a plan in case of falling overboard is a must. Floater suits are your best bet, but will only do so much. Having a plan to be able to dry off and get warm quickly are critical. B-roll. Despite being around bait and fishing into the darkness, we weren't able to manufacture a second bite. Given the challenges we faced just to get on the water today, putting a muskie in the boat is still pretty sweet. Okay, safety chains on, lights are working. Fishing is fun, but we can all agree, catching is a whole lot better. Fishing is a puzzle, and our Zero to Hero Masterclass is here to help you solve regardless of where, when, or what you fish for. If you've never picked up a rod before, or you've been fishing for a lifetime, our program will teach you all you need to catch more and bigger fish every time you hit the water. You'll learn how to use fish biology and environmental cues to figure out the hows and whys of their behavior in order to plan your fishing trips, make smart, informed decisions on the water, and ultimately put more and bigger fish in the boat. The new wave of fishing is here. Are you ready to catch it?